If you're rejected, accept it. If you're unloved, let go. If they choose someone or something over you, move on. Not everyone you love will stay. Not everyone you trust will be loyal. I don't care about losing people who don't want to be in my life anymore. I've lost people who meant the world to me, and I'm still doing just fine. Do not follow the majority. Follow the right way. You can feel it when someone is not being real with you. Energy never lies. Always speak how you feel and never be sorry for being real. Give people time. Give people space. Don't beg anyone to stay. Let them roam. What's meant for you will always be yours. I feel so much better when people don't know where I am and what I'm doing. You may not be able to control every situation and its outcome, but you can control your attitude and how you deal with it. Do good. It will come back to you in unexpected ways. Be happy with what you have while working for what you want. Remember that some things have to end for better things to begin. We have just heard the, that little clip there. I just wanted you to listen to that before I say what I want to say. From the title, you know what I want to address today. And before I proceed, I want to use Ephesians 4 verse 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ifechi family. I'm just not very happy what is going on in social media, especially within Nigerian community. You know, when you are on social media, you have community, you have people you listen to and so on and so forth. So what is going on at the moment amongst Nigerian community, certain community, I'm not happy about that. And I want to say one or two things, the concerns I have. Some of these people, I do not watch them, but what inspired this particular video was uh, the update I got from Entertainment Daily OK. I love how she... She's like a gist channel. I love how she analyzes things that are going on. So when I listened to her talking about this particular lady, and I got to know about this lady during this period of all the things going on, nonsense, some of them are nonsense, going on on social media, among Nigerian community, I got to know about this lady. So after listening to Entertainment Daily, I now went back to listen to that video for myself before I can. And then after listening to that, I said, do you, do you matter what? I need to say something. And this video, what I'm going to say now is not just directly to her because there are people who are even worse than that, but they have not verbalized their own or they, ha they, they have not said anything or their action speaks a louder than what they, than their voices. So I'm just using what I heard her say to please advise us. From what she said, she's still in her 20s. So she may be younger than my youngest son. My youngest son is in his very late 20s. So I'm now talking as a, a more mature person. Because I knew, I, I, I've I been that age years ago. I've been younger in your, like all of you, your age groups. I mean, all I say all of you, I mean people who are doing the reacting, who are doing the analyzing, who are doing whatever they do. Some of you anyway. And I'm old, I'm, I'm much older than you, but that's not even the point because it's not about age. Some of you who are much younger than even my children can, I, I, le I learn, I learn things from you. So it's not about age. Age is, doesn't mean that you're mature enough. Some people are much older and the way they behave, you wonder what is, who, what is going on. So it's not about age here, but it's just that my, my channel, Ifechi Family, you can see my logo, <laughs> Ifechi Family and Ifechi Health and Wellness. So my concern is your health and wellness. My concern is your families. And that's why I'm here today. It's not about age or trying to advise you or try to be your moms. No, 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 no. That's not the point. Because I also learned from you. But what made me 
to shudder was what this lady said, this young girl said. One of the things she said, I will never ever forgive her or forgive you or whoever it, it is that she's got issues with. I will never ever. You know, there's this word that always said, never say never because you may regret what you say later on. But that one, not, one, no, uh, wasn't even as serious as this particular statement. I would rather, she said, she said, I would rather die and go to hell, hellfire, than apologize to her. Hey, I'm like, really? So is that, is that deep? Is that serious? What is going on? What has this person done to this person that, this, that will warrant this kind of harsh word to be used on yourself? Please, let us mind what we say. What we say may not affect us directly. It may affect our next generation. We, we have to be very, very careful. And there are other horrible words that I, you know, other people have said. I've heard clips and here and there. Saying that, oh, I will deal with her. She's going to run mad. She's going to run out of her husband's house. Oh, she, I'm going to do this to her. Uh-uh. Why are we so harsh? I know that some of these things that people say, they may not deeply mean them, but they, they've said it out. They may say them out of annoyance, out of will, when they're very unhappy with that person, but you have said it out. You cannot take that word back. So please, let us always think about what we say before we say them. Very, very important. Social media does not lie. You may decide in future to take down some of these videos. How about people who have clips of what you have said saved in their own channels? Will you ask them to take them down? That's why it's very important that you be careful what you say. Your children are watching. They're growing up. This may affect them in their future. You, you may think that it's okay now, but it's not okay. Because what you said, your voices will be played and your children will be so embarrassed. This may even affect your future. Maybe not your directly, but your children, because they bear your surname. Especially here in the diaspora, there are things you do. It will be on record. There are certain types of job or things you want to go into. They will dig into your record. I've said this before. Before I got the job I had with a, a particular force here in, in the UK as their health practitioner advisor. They, they checked my whole family. They checked my criminal record. They checked me. They checked my husband. They checked my four sons before they, they call it a security check. They did all these checks before they offered me that job. And I was in that job for over 10 years before I moved because I decided to move to something else. But there are things you do. You think it's okay, but it's not okay. It may affect your future generation. Please, let us be very careful. Let us, let us be very, very careful. Why would you be wishing your fellow woman that she would run mad, she would run out of her husband's house? Some people will say, oh, her, her marriage is shaking, all this. What, what will you benefit? How will you be happy to see your fellow woman's uh, marriage shaking or going to be destroyed? Maybe by, by some of these things flying around on social media. If their spouses see them, it may cause problem. Is that what you want? What will you gain for any marriage to fail or for anybody to suffer any kind of thing? There's a lot of things that we need to be worrying about. All these things you're doing, you people say, oh, it doesn't bother me. I just talk and I'll go home. No, I'm sure it bothers you because you think about it. You have to, some people may not be in their sleep. They'll be thinking of the next thing to say or do to people. Please, let us stop. I, I, I advise everyone, please go and check your blood pressures. Everyone, because a lot of things have happened recently where people develop something and when they were checked, their blood pressure were on, over the roof. Because they were young, they didn't think they would have high blood pressure. All this sickness is these days is no longer about age. Check yourself, sleep well. What are you awake doing at 3 a.m.? And by 5 or 6, you are awake again and you start again. Are you a machine? Please, be, use your um, energy positively and not negatively. I saw some, one comment where in that uh, when I was watching the lady, one comment, somebody said, this thing people are saying is not even my concern. By the time I started, I was watching this video, it was uh, a bag of rice was 60K Naira. Then I went back, it's now 85,000 Naira, <laughs> you know. It, yeah, so there's a lot of things to worry about. Why are you using your energy for things like this and, and waiting for next person that you are going to tear down with your words? Some people are not okay, oh. 
some of the things that's going on, you think that you're okay, but you're not okay. Because some of the things happening that I see, uh, there's something, well, I, I'm saying this because uh, <laughs> there's something uh, an older person will sit down to see. A younger person, even if you climb uh, three chairs, you will not see it. I can see some things going on. And I know that some people are not okay. Things are not just okay. So be, be careful. You may not know it, but it's happening. I'm telling you. Please channel your energy to things that are positive, that, that will be edifying. Just like the word of God tells us in Ephesians 4.29. Something that will help others. Building others up. That's what we should be looking at. That it may benefit those who listen. Some of the things you do or say, when people listen, would they benefit them? And people who are commenting, people should be very careful. When somebody, people have their favorites, when their favorites are doing something that is wrong, be brave enough to tell them that this is wrong, I don't believe and I don't follow you in this one. Don't be always support nonsense. Tell them that they are doing things wrong because some people, we always get things wrong no matter what. Be very truthful to yourself and to others. Watch, look after your health. Look after your physical and mental health. There's a very thin line between sanity and insanity. I can just see it. some people are not okay. You may not understand it. You may not see it, but I'm seeing it. And I'm begging you all, please look after yourselves. You are all young. Most of you are all quite young. You have young children to raise up. Children are listening in the background. They are listening. Some of the choice of words, some of the words that that lady used in that video as well is not something I, I will say here. And all, other people use it free, you know, freely. Some of the choice of words that you use. Are you thinking about your children? Are you thinking about the examples you are setting? Because your children are watching. Never mind what you tell them to do. It's what are you doing yourself as their parents. They are watching. Be very careful. Be kind to one another. On this YouTube street, let us be, be, you know, sometimes I love to watch some of this and I just laugh. But when it's like laughable, you laugh. But when it comes to being so horrible and toxic, then it's no longer a laughing matter. It becomes a serious matter that needs to stop. Please, I'm begging you people. I'm begging you for your own good. Stop. I don't know how you, and people can be happy cheering each other apart like this, like lions. Why? Please stop. Oh, I'm begging you people. This is just me using my motherly <laughs> love, showing you my motherly love. Be good. I don't want you to fall ill because of your, your of negative energy. Be positive. Help others. You can say your point. You can bring out your point without tearing each other down. Stop using harsh words. Stop the hate words. Stop being toxic. It's not helping anybody and it's not helping you. Okay, my people, thank you so much for listening. This video is longer than I expected, but I needed to bring this out to beg us, to beg you, to edge your bele, biko, whichever other language you speak. Please, thank you so much for listening. Goodbye and God bless.